Well, what a day here at the ballpark. Alec Manoa and Shohei Otani in front of a sellout crowd. Thank you to both about great moments from years gone by and what might be for this team this year. Baseball at that time, in 92 and 93, Toronto was the center of the baseball world. Step up, we need a hero. We running out of time. We gotta find someone to set the clock back to zero. We headed straight for the iceberg in a fast clip, but you can save our ship. Step up, we need a hero. We running out of time. We gotta find someone to set the clock back to zero. And now gets him on the inside corner. Throws him for strike three. We need a hero. The pitching matchup, it doesn't always live up to the hype, but it did here today. Yeah, this one did, certainly. We were all interested in seeing Otani and Manoa go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, and did they ever. We need a hero. Angels finally have somebody at third base. And first pitch drives him in. Luis Renifo points to the Angels. Dugout Fletcher scores 1-0 Angels. And the Angels have beaten and shut out the Blue Jays for the second day in a row as they win today by a score of 2-0. It was wonderful to have people like Pat Borders and Joe Carter in the building yesterday, but none of them were allowed to hit against Shohei Otani. And so the current Blue Jays are still searching for their first run since Kevin Biggio scored in the 10th inning in Boston on Thursday. My, oh my, maybe that changes today here on Sportsnet. We are so glad that you've joined us today. I'm Jamie Campbell with Joe Siddle coming up on the show today. We will show you the journey made by the Blair brothers of Nova Scotia to Toronto to help find some uh, peace given the tragedy they went through over two years ago. But uh, first, as you probably know, if you've been tuning in the last couple of days, this series has not gone as planned. Friday, it was Reed Detmers and four relievers keeping the Blue Jays off the scoreboard and then of course yesterday as good as Alec Manoa was for the Blue Jays Otani was fractionally better and once again the Blue Jays were shut out so there's a guy going to the mound today for the Angels by the name of Tucker Davidson here is Joe to explain why this shouldn't be so easy it's just the fourth left handed starting pitcher the Blue Jays have seen this month of August and it hasn't gone exceptionally well now they hit left handed pitchers similarly in a similar manner to that they do righties but the left handed starters give them issues why is that well oftentimes left handed relievers come in probably two pitches fastball slider hard type stuff but starters offer a variety they offer a four pitch mix and he is going to offer a very similar mix that we saw from Detmers on Friday night in game one of this series four pitches fastball curveball slider change up. We saw Detmers go to the slider a lot against these Blue Jays hitters. Does that ring a bell? Absolutely. We've seen it a lot against Blue Jays hitters all season. He'll go with the change up down and away from righties. They're going to have to find some sort of discipline to hit the pitches in the zone. There's another slider under the bat of George Springer. They'll freeze you up with the fastball not overpowering guys they'll be in their low to mid 90s but it's not much of a different look that they saw Friday these Blue Jays hitters have to have some kind of approach where they got to figure this out you cannot keep having these types of pitchers beat you and I think on a day like this this is a guy very similar to what they saw from Detmers in Friday night find something in the zone he'll throw a lot of sliders mm -hmm. too but the sliders hittable in the zone they need to be very selective and do their damage there. Normalcy has been restored to the Blue Jays lineup for the final game of this series as just as yesterday George Springer is leading off and in center field. Lourdes Gurriel Jr. is back after a day off yesterday and so too is Teoscar Hernandez remember took a pitch off the foot on Friday misplayed a ball did not play at all yesterday so you'll see those bats in the lineup against the lefty. And the Blue Jays need a victory to avoid a sweep. Let's take you down to the field right now. Hazel May is with Arden Swelling. Jamie and Joe, thank you very much. As Jamie mentioned, George Springer will be making his second straight start in center field since coming off the IL, dealing with that elbow injury. Yesterday, Springer recorded a hit in his return to the field. And yes, Teoscar Hernandez does return after suffering a concussion 
contusion fouling that ball off his left foot. Now, if I manager John Schneider, Arden, this makes things a little easier when I'm penciling in the lineup. Absolutely. Having Springer up top and not in the DH spot lets you get Alejandro Kirk into the lineup. Blue Jays going to need offense any way they can get it. Obviously, this means that George Springer, things went well for him in yesterday's game. Only had the one defensive opportunity. Didn't have to make any really high exertion throws. But the fact that he's back in there is definitely a good sign. And look, the Blue Jays need to score some runs here maybe start with one <laughs> and go from there and you look at what George Springer has done this month he's only had 45 plate appearances but he's got hits in 19 of them oh, Hazel yeah. he's been on base and over half of them so he's a big time impact on this lineup as can be Kirk it's the designated hitter not a ton of power this month but seven walks versus eight strikeouts he's finding ways to contribute always contributing look at that OPS to over 1100 now Jackie Bradley Jr. was hitless yesterday making the start in right field for Teoscar Hernandez um, as I mentioned didn't have a hit but made an impact coming off the bench yeah tough assignment coming in against Shohei Otani of all people but you look at the throw that he made to nab Ryan Aguilar at third base that throw was measured at 91.2 miles per hour by StatCast that is Ross Stripling's average fastball velocity just by <laughs> way of comparison this is a bit of an underrated aspect of Jackie Bradley Jr.'s game he's got a big outfield arm you're seeing it here he's going to get his opportunities down the stretch to play Rymel Tapia has been a real funk for the last month so if George Springer if Teoscar Hernandez need time off their feet Jackie Bradley Jr. could draw in and he's going to find ways to contribute yeah and we are not knocking Ross Stripling by the way uh, in 12 <laughs> starts since rejoining the rotation Jamie Stripling has a 2-1-4 ERA that is fourth best among American League starters during that span so let's hope he keeps that trend going as the Blue Jays have not been been swept here at Rogers Center since June of 2021 and they're hoping that continues as we go on uh, the series finale uh, with the LA Angels back to you Hazel this is not the first time Stripling's been relied upon to uh, stop a run of poor games Junior Jays Sunday I love the artwork here and I love <laughs> the effort even more that's fantastic masterpiece yes indeed Stay with us as Blue Jays Central rolls on towards first pitch. <laughs> 